Greetings, everyone, and blessings from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I haven't done a video in a while, but um, it seems like the Lord just inspired me to um, put one up with a, with a message um, about, you know, being a tree of righteousness. Um, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to start from um, Isaiah 61, um, verses 1 through 3. And this is a verse that um, was also Jesus had um, quoted, I think, back in um, Luke in regards to him. But it starts off as this, um, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. As God calls us in Christ Jesus, you know, he conforms us to the image of his son, that we may bear fruit in Christ, you know, pleasing to him, because we're now um as a tree of righteousness you know and being that we're supposed to bear fruits of righteousness you know in galatians 5 5 19 through 5 verse 19 through 24 it speaks about two different type of fruits i'm gonna read this right now galatians chapter 5 i'm gonna start at verse 19 now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. You see, as a Christian, we're supposed to bear fruits of the Spirit, you know? Love, patience, gentleness, kindness, meekness. These are fruits that are pleasing to God, and it is evidence that shows that the Holy Spirit is working in your life and that you're actually abiding in him. You know, as Christ said, where the where their branches, while well, he's the vine. And as long as the branches abide in the vine, it will bear fruit. But if it doesn't, it will not bear no fruit. Are you a tree of righteousness? You know, has the Lord planted you? Are you bearing fruit of the spirit? Are you bearing the gentleness, you know, the love, the patience, the kindness, the meekness, you know? Or are there still some fleshly tendencies in you, you know, which is causing you not to bear fruit of the Spirit? It'd be wise, you know, to examine ourselves, you know, examine ourselves daily to make sure that we're living pleasing to the Lord and we're bearing fruit of the Holy Spirit. Because without those, we'll be cut off. We will not inherit the kingdom of God. I pray that you examine yourself daily, as well as I am examining myself daily as well. I pray this has encouraged you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen.